Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, November 14th, and we've got a changeable week coming up. Uh, looking at some of the headlines we expect, uh, we're expecting some sunshine today. It's going to be a really nice day. Certainly the winds are going to be much lighter, around 7 to 14 miles per hour with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. And we're looking at a big uh, late week storm. We talked a little bit about that last week and uh, certainly looks like that's going to be the case. However, the uh, biggest effects are going to be felt uh, from the uh, Rockies into the uh, uh, Dakotas and into uh, Minnesota. We're going to be on the warm side of the system, so look for more uh, 60 degree temperatures. I thought maybe we were done, but certainly not the case. And uh, so we're going to have uh, temperatures, I think, Thursday and Friday up around or in the 60s. So it's going to be a very warm week overall with a lot of nice weather. The system that we're looking at for uh, uh, Tuesday certainly looks like it's going to be uh, not very impactful. I don't think we'll see any rain. If we do, it would be uh, very scattered and very light. And then for the middle or end of next week, we could be seeing a clipper that could lay down some snow across the Great Lakes, and we'll keep an eye on that. If we look at the uh, normals for the day, our normal high is 46. The normal low is now down into the upper 20s. And if we look at conditions around the area yesterday, you can see temperatures uh, mainly in the 50s. A warm spot at Middleton at 58 cold spot at Nuevo down to 31 degrees and 11.7 uh, degrees above normal so far for the month of uh, November so a very warm start to the month and again as we get towards Thanksgiving I've all along I predicted that we could see a white Thanksgiving that cer certainly is in the cards and our nor or the uh, high temperatures across the U.S. yesterday was 93 degrees at San Diego at Gillespie and the low 15 degrees at Alamos Alamoso uh, Cal or Colorado and also at West uh, Waverly, uh, Colorado. And if we look at uh, yesterday across the uh, MAC area here in Ransom Road, you can see a pretty uh, brisk day as far as customers go. Uh, we had, uh, again, a pretty busy day for a Sunday. And if we look at temperatures across the area this morning, temperatures mainly in the 40s, colder down in southeast lower Michigan into the mid 30s. And we'll show you why here on the next slide. You can see the low level winds and we're getting some warmth coming off the Great Lakes affecting uh, much of the uh, northern parts of the area, but you can see where winds cross southeast lower Michigan don't come off the lake. That's where the cooler temperatures are and there's a little bit of uh, clear skies there as well. If we look at the satellite view, you can see some of the clouds that's moved into the uh, southwest Michigan and south central Michigan. And that's helping also to keep our temperatures up a little bit while southeast lower Michigan uh, still seeing some clear skies. That's why their temperatures have uh, been able to fall off due to radiational cooling. If we look at the uh, radar, nothing out there. And if we go to the next slide or the next five days, you can see the uh, front coming through uh, the area today. will only uh, keep our temperatures pretty steady into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday into the 50s to around 60. But overall, we're going into a zonal pattern. So it's going to be a fairly warm pattern coming up through the week. And then you can see by tomorrow that system uh, moves off to the east. Again, any precipitation Tuesday looks like it's going to be well off to the northwest. So we should be able to continue harvest uh, conditions here right on through much of the week. And if we slide into the day on Wednesday, you can see our storm begins to, to uh, develop. And again, this is going to be a pretty strong storm and it's going to create a lot of wind towards the end of the week. And then you can see it rapidly intensifies as it moves into uh, parts of Iowa and Minnesota. And then on the back side of this is where we're going to be looking at some snow up into Canada. So again, we're going to fill in that uh, snowfall map. We'll show you that in just a bit. And you can see that storm uh, moves up towards Lake Superior at about 1,000 millibars after a peak of about 996 uh, millibars as it was in Minnesota. And if we look at the uh, precipitation over the next seven days, you can see southeast lower Michigan, much of the MAC area, not a whole lot in the way of precipitation. The heaviest from the storm is going to be off into the Dakotas up into uh, Ontario. Again, there could be some rather significant snow across the Dakotas in northwest Minnesota here as we get towards the end of the week. And as far as the uh, uh, when could we see, expect to see some cold air around here, you can see the uh, latest North Atlantic Oscillation is now uh, beginning to be forecasted to go negative here as we get into late next week and the following week and that usually is a good indicator that cold temperatures will be coming to the eastern part of the U.S. and if we look at the snowfall map you can see last week and then we can see uh, this week not a whole lot of change but over the next 10 days this is the area where we expect a lot of snowfall to begin to fill in on that map so we'll uh, show you that here as we get towards the end of the week or first of next week and you're going to see a lot more snow in this area than is currently depicted. And if we look at the uh, snowfall forecast, you can see over the next 10 days, a lot of snowfall 
again from the Dakotas all the way up in Ontario even uh, that clipper system we're going to keep an eye on that and this is from the GFS if you look at the Canadian model again you can see uh, significant snows up to 20 inches or so as you move north of Lake Superior a lot of snow in parts of Minnesota as well so there could certainly uh, uh, be some uh, white uh, looking uh, conditions across that area and some driving uh, hazards as well and you can see that clipper system and or lake effect snow uh, depending on uh, where that track of that storm goes we could see some minor accumulations across uh, parts of the MAC area this would be probably in the next Wednesday to next Friday time period we'll certainly be able to pin that down closer as we get closer to the event uh, but over the next uh, 8 to 10 days for the most part here especially in the early part you can see the uh, southern oscillation index is not doing a whole lot and it's going to continue to indicate I think fairly warm temperatures again as we into for much of this week and maybe into the weekend before some uh, pretty significant changes begin to take place as far as all over the next 6 to 10 day outlook and the 8 to 14 and we're going to watch I think these maps change here over the next several days I think you're going to see more in the way of blue especially across the eastern U.S. But for now, the uh, forecast is for a near to a, uh, above normal. And you continue to see how we're expecting the warmest conditions really to uh, begin to uh, uh, migrate back to the west as we see uh, troughing begin to develop across the eastern U.S. And again, we'll probably see another surge of warmth after that. But then I think uh, as we get into uh, Thanksgiving, into the uh, uh, first part of December, we're going to see... I think conditions become quite a bit active and uh, colder. Right now we're expecting a cold and stormy December and you can see as far as precipitation a little above normal across the Great Lakes over the next 6 to 10 and for the 8 to 14 day outlook. Again, this is something we're going to highlight over the uh, upcoming winter. We expect a pretty brutal winter with a lot of upper ridging up, off to the north and we're going to have strong jet undercutting. Remember I talked about the winter outlook where we expect a lot of storm tracks to come out of the Rockies and then move across the uh, Ohio Valley and again that's uh, certainly what we're expecting for the winter as it's going to be I think a pretty active one at that. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. It's going to be a nice week and 73s to all.